Vodafone is the world's ninth largest telecom company, and it has brought in $52.2 billion of revenue in 2020, according to its annual report from that year. As a result, the project is a notable example of adoption, and it presents an opportunity for members of the crypto industry. This is not just some boring update, but this same company has announced a partnership with Cardano NFTs. So how did we miss this? It all started as a cryptic tweet that stirred a wave of speculation. Vodafone Germany might have just given a nod to the Cardano blockchain and its non-fungible tokens, according to a tweet from the company's official Twitter account. Plus, Patrick Tobler, a developer at Cardano NFT project NMKR, picked up on the cryptic message, driving quite a stir within the Cardano community. Tobler's tweets hint at the possibility of Vodafone minting NFTs using NMKR, but he left much of the interpretation up to speculation. Further confirmation of Vodafone's foray into Cardano's NFT space came from Twitter user Mantax. The user claims to be an employee of Vodafone Germany. Yes, I can verify it because I'm working at Vodafone Germany and trying to push some innovation. I'm a legit Cardano degen, equal Vodafone NFTs on Cardano, he tweeted. Well, the fears and doubts had their way again as some user raised the possibility that Vodafone account could have been hacked, citing the unusual nature of the tweets. The Cardano-related tweet was published in English, even though all the other tweets were published in German. Whatever the reality of Vodafone's supposed endorsement of Cardano NFTs, it is certain that the cryptocurrency community is watching closely, as more traditional corporations show interest in blockchain technology and digital assets. Events like these are likely to trigger excitement and speculation. All the same, Patrick Tobler targeted a tweet at the Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, stating, Weird World Enterprise Adoption. What do you say? While Hoskinson did not give a direct comment on the development or response to the tweet, this was around the time he boasted about Cardano's undiluted growth amid the noise in the crypto market. He said, Lots of noise in crypto. Look for the signal. Cardano is getting real adoption and growing as an ecosystem under the harshest conditions our industry knows. Like Bitcoin, this is being done in a completely decentralized way. However, Vodafone and Cardano may seem like an unlikely match on the surface, but there may be more to it than meets the eye. Does Cardano have NFTs? Moving the chains, the mysterious tweet from Vodafone read. This was followed up a day later on the official Vodafone Germany social media Discord channel. Vodafone representative Luca wrote, Yes, we are planning to release an NFT collection this year, and we want to utilize the Cardano chain for this. The reason we chose this particular chain comes down to community, sustainability, as well as cross-chain possibilities. Also, the representative added that Vodafone's plans are still in the early stages, explained that the company has not decided what utility and benefits the token will carry, but noted that the first 1,000 members of the Discord community will receive rewards. He also suggests that the project is currently limited to Vodafone Germany, but noted that the company is exploring ways to include international community members. The representative added that there will be no whitelist that restricts access. But the representative warned the public not to click on any airdrop links, which implies that any tokens that appear to be related to the project are fraudulent. This is not the first time Cardano is being endorsed as a result of its huge perks and value, but this time it is a big one. Vodafone's choice to use the Cardano network for minting NFTs has increased Cardano's visibility and likelihood of widespread adoption. The telecom company's cooperation, coming from a significant international company, illustrates the potential and capabilities of the Cardano blockchain for hosting large-scale projects. So get ready to fly, Cardano users. Cardano adoption may increase due to this exposure among other companies and developers who may be motivated to learn more about the capabilities and advantages of the platform. Furthermore, by selecting Cardano as the NFT mining platform, Vodafone expressed confidence in the network's technical capabilities and infrastructure, and this one can bolster the Cardano ecosystem and support its long-term expansion and sustainability. In addition, the value and demand for ADA may benefit from increased Cardano network adoption and usage propelled by major corporations like Vodafone. Increased transactions, staking of ADA, and involvement in the management of the Cardano blockchain may occur when more companies and individuals interact with the Cardano ecosystem. These activities can increase interest in ADA and elevate prices. This looks like what we've finally been waiting for. Of course, Cardano enthusiasts and ADA holders will be pleased with the development as Cardano is gaining real-life use cases on top of a solid foundation. This announcement happened around when Charles Hoskinson threw a jab at the Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin for the staking mechanism on ETH. Hoskinson tweeted that he was at a loss for words and that all of our ADA is staked. He went ahead to say that, guess what? 
That's how it's supposed to be for a properly designed proof of stake protocol. In defense, Buterin offered his reasoning as to why he did not want to stake a big batch of Ethereum. Probably the biggest reason why I'm not personally staking all my ETH and staking a fairly small portion is because if you stake your ETH, the keys that access it is public on some system that's online. For safety, it has to be a multi-sig, and multi-sigs for staking are still fairly difficult to set up. Ethereum's Justin Drake also made remarks that indicated he was in a reasonably similar position. Personally, I'm staking a little bit less than the average. Part of the reason I'm staking too much is that when you make the sausage, you know how it's made. Buterin's reasoning is perhaps complicated, but this does not stop the community from taking the statement apart. They question why the community should be comfortable with Ethereum staking if one of the founders wasn't. The community responded quite harshly to the development, with some saying that it's similar to comparing the founder of Dodge driving only short trips because they don't feel like it's safe for long distance trips. Others made similar comments, saying that it sounded like Vitalik Buterin didn't trust his product. Nonetheless, for Cardano, a partnership with Vodafone looks like the next big thing and could eventually add to the project's cards in the crypto market. It's been trampled a lot of times in the industry and it's time for it to rise. Plus, Vodafone itself seems interested in crypto and blockchain. Last year, Vodafone launched a blockchain-based platform that authorizes connected devices to perform secure automated transactions on a customer's behalf. According to an official statement, the new platform called Digital Asset Broker leveraged the strength of its Internet of Things platform to help Vodafone clients benefit from the new economy of things. Most connected devices and sensors collect and send information through the Internet. However, the new Economy of Things platform from Vodafone went further than that. It allowed verified connected devices, vehicles, smart street furniture, and machines to transact seamlessly and securely on a user's behalf without their intervention. We're building in-house, new-scale platforms for our customers across Europe and Africa. This, our latest platform, will drive the new economy of things where everyday objects and devices can negotiate, buy, and sell services on our behalf. We are actively talking with many other companies to rapidly expand partnerships and widen the ecosystem worldwide to include other features and payment schemes, said Johan Wilber, Vodafone's chief technology officer. Moreover, Cardano 88 is not slacking off either. While Cardano appears to be witnessing an imbalance in price volatility, it is recording a notable but subtle growth in its DeFi TVL. Steady but sure is the goal. According to data from DeFi Llama, the total number of 88 tokens locked on its associated dApps is now pegged at an all-time high of 557.62 million 88 coins. The figure has been on a steady run and rose from 198.65 million 88 as of January 1st to the current level. Also, while this figure is not being complemented in dollar terms as a result of the fall in the price of the token, it does reveal how much interest is harbored by the investors within the Cardano DeFi world. Notably, Cardano has been seeing several impressive utility additions due to its already steady developer activity over the past year. The interest in the protocol is hinged on the visible and relatable products such as the first light wallet lace and services such as the advances in its staking offerings. Well, what do we have here? Perhaps there's no last straw that will break the camel's back after all. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.